T-Man 978 Chill Review. Hello everyone, T-Man 978, bringing you Marvel Legends Bulldozer from the Ant-Man Ultron Build-A-Figure Wave. On the side of the package and you get the ants again because they're too cheap to draw new artwork. On the back of the packaging we see disgruntled criminal Henry Camp joined forces with the Wrecker and became the hero crushing bulldozer. Here are these people again if you want to see them. If you have a bad memory or you didn't watch my previous video. Bulldozer is packaged with Ultron's left arm. Here's my progress. Yeah, nice and easy. And here's Bulldozer out of packaging. He looks positively hulking. And he looks extremely like a redundant juggernaut figure. Anywho. He's covered in cool, cool details, and I like him a lot better than I like Grim Reaper. This chest armor is movable. I'm not, I'm not sure if it can be taken off. I'm pretty sure it can be taken off if you pop the arm out of the socket, if that's possible without breaking it. I'm not sure because I'm not sure how the non-Build-A-Figure's anatomy works, and I don't want to risk it. But this armor looks very awesome. I can see his eyes in there a bit if my camera would focus okay yeah some scary scary looking eyes are in there look at the detail on this helmet it looks like he's been in maybe a quite a few battles now right here I see his armor is all scuffed up so I'll let that slide that is not painted I'm trying to see there aren't too many other sections where it's not painted like that so that's what kind of makes me feel like it's a, a flaw. But look at the texture in his skin. I'm not sure if this body mold has been reused. But looking at this armor right there, that's specifically him. So I'm not sure if it's been reused with new parts or what. But it does look rather detailed and nice. And the way these hips work is weird. I guess they bend at such an angle where when you lift it up, it kind of wants to bend out of the way like one of those universal ball joints, even though it's not sculpted like a universal ball joint. But yeah, I love his outfit. And I'm guessing this is an older mold because he has toe pivot and they don't have that that much anymore. Well, they don't have that anymore, period. I haven't seen it. He has barely any ankle pivot, but his foot can go back that much and forward this much. Now he doesn't have any, like a boot cut or whatever, but this piece moves over there. I guess it's on top of his actual boot. This one doesn't move at all, which is weird if that one moves. But here's the back of him. This belt actually moves because it's not attached to his body. He has a nice ab crunch for somebody this huge and hulking. I guess to accommodate for his head, but, but anyway. He can look back that much. Two points in the shoulder bicep swivel one point in the elbow that eh, I guess it does bend 90 degrees his swivel right here instead of his actual wrist which is okay a open palm hand right there and a fist the head can look down that much and look up quite a bit for somebody with all this armor on he looks up higher than that man and his two points is a little bit of a tilt and of course you can rotate 360 but yeah I like this one let me do like a size comparison hold on he's taller than giant man here but still shorter than the Hulk so there you go with that so yeah I like bulldozer and I recommend them this has been T-Man 970 if you like this video please give me a like share this shit subscribe comment tman978 again i'm gonna say my name again for some reason out of here till next time